injector threading and operation on the printer. So our power is already on. Um, uh, and this, this is switched on to 8 perf, and I'm just going to cycle it over to make sure that uh, we are stopping on the proper frame. So I'm going to turn over this 8 perf cycle, and I'll turn the projector to off. And I'm going to turn the inching knob back here. It's the big knob here on the back of the motor. And I'm going to turn it counterclockwise until the uh, leaves come off of the register pins right there. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> the film uh, normally loads uh, on the bottom uh, spool and runs from the bottom up on the optical printer, the opposite of the camera. The camera runs from the top down. The projector head runs from the bottom up that way. Okay? And so we put the uh, stock on. If I'm just using, if I'm not bike packing, we're just using one piece of film, uh, that's flashing. you see it flashing? Yeah. I was hoping we could wait. Okay. That's, uh, okay, so... Uh, <clears throat> if we're, if again, if we are not uh, bypacking, we're just using a single roll of film, I usually use the front chamber, which is this chamber here goes with that chamber, and this chamber goes with this chamber. Okay, so put the film on the bottom here, and just unravel enough for threading, and then put the uh, retainer bar up so the film uh, doesn't fall off onto the floor the bars are for. And then this goes around that roller like so. Open up the keepers. And this goes around the big sprocket like such. Make sure the film is in on, the, on the teeth, sprocket teeth. Close the keeper. Slip the film into the movement. Pull back the little tab. And push the tab back in and just pull the film to feel it click in on the pins. And this goes around this roller like so. Close the keepers. And this goes like so on the right side of that one and on the left side of this one. On the right side of that roller. And it goes around this way. Takes up this, this way. So, put the retainer bar down, keep the film on, and always turn it over by hand first before you fire it up the motor. Always turn it over by hand. Make sure it's going through smoothly. And we have a little bit too much loop here on the top. It's bending back towards the body a little bit, so I'm going to shorten it. About one sprocket. One perf. And Okay, that's good, and the bottom one is good, just going in straight, the bottom, not too short, not too long, so that's a good threading pattern. So once you see that it's turning over smoothly by hand, then you can uh, put the projector onto forward and you can fire it over at the slow speed, and it's working fine, and we'll just speed it up here to 10, and just go continuously. I want to make sure it's taken up, it's taken up, and it's, you know, the film's not unraveling anywhere. Sounds nice and smooth, that's fine. Now what I did mention when I put this in, since this is just dummy film, there's no frame on here. And of course if you're loading up in the projector, you're loading up, you're always loading up a exposed piece of film that's got a picture on it. So, of course you want to get it in frame in the gate, you know, lined up properly so that when you cycle over, it stops in frame and not out of frame, you know, with the frame line going through, of course. So, uh, that's the threading of the projector, very simple, good look at it. And, um, and then the controls for the projector are the same as the camera, forward, off, reverse, same speeds here apply, the slew for fast rewinding, and then there's the sync and the load switches. So it all, all works the same way as the camera. And when you uh, 
<clears throat> when you load up the projector, you'll have a you'll have a, a frame that'll correspond. Uh, the frame of film and the projector will correspond to a frame of film and the camera, so you're always in sync. So, like you did with the camera when we loaded up and zeroed out, you know, load up on a zero frame of the projector, and then when you do the, the frame counters right here, then you just zero out the counter here for the uh, projector, and so that both counters should always be in sync if you're printing in sync. And uh, that covers the basic loading of the projector. And uh, you can go bye-bye for now okay. until okay. the next... Uh -huh.